Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we are going to do yet again the Remus Repeal Reserve. Now, this is the second time I've reviewed this whiskey, but this is probably going to be the first time that you watch me review this whiskey because um, I did this maybe a week ago. I did the video editing, all that good jazz, and my audio just sucked. And if you just got done watching the last video that I did, which, uh, let's see, the order's probably all out of place, but I just got done reviewing, like in the last couple of minutes here, the uh, Rendezvous Rye, the 2021, and I did that back-to-back -back with the 2019, then the 2020, and then the 2021. So this is the fourth review for the day for this set of videos that I'm making, and it's a redo of this whiskey because the audio sucks. So hopefully the audio doesn't suck on this one. But this is the Remus Repeal Reserve uh, Batch 2, or release number 2, uh, straight bourbon whiskey. It's released. This is the first one that is released at uh, 100 proof or 50% ABV. The first release was the uh, 2017, and that was at 94, and then... The 20, um, 19, 20, and 21 are all 100 proofs as well. And so uh, this particular one is uh, a blend. It's called the 2018 Medley. And it is 15% 2007 bourbon, which is a 21% rye. 50% 2008 bourbon, which is a 21% rye. 10% 2007 bourbon, which is a 36% rye and 25% 2008 bourbon, 36% um, rye. So this is a compilation of 10 and 11 year old bourbons. Um, and uh, I picked this up for $103 and five cents on my travels up to Billings, Montana, and I kind of duped myself. I thought that this was the 2021 version, which is release number five. I did not pay attention when I picked it out, so that's on me. That's my fault, um, but I thought, you know, how at worst, it's the, the 2020 version, right? Like, I bought it in 2021, how long does a bottle like this sit around? Now, granted, at $103, it probably sits around a little bit longer than other varieties. But um, by not paying attention, I kind of screwed myself from getting what I wanted or what I thought I was getting. However, I will say this. Uh, both in the last time I reviewed this and the first time I sampled it, head over heels for this whiskey has a lot. It's bringing a lot to the table. I think it is worth every penny at $103. Uh, MSRP, I want to say, is like $75 or $79. Um, if I could find it for that, I would be in heaven at that point. Um, so there you go. If you're out hunting something specific, make sure you are paying attention to what you are actually buying. Um, but that being said, let's get into this. Hopefully this audio is awesome. Ooh. Okay, we got jam, like some kind of red fruit jam, brown sugar, a really nice, thick, viscous oak on the nose. <clears throat> uh, the ethanol is kind of subdued. I get a lot of sweet notes out of it. The brown sugar and the dark red fruit jam quality is kind of jumping out of the glass at me here. You can pick up just a little bit of grain dust in there. It smells dense. The flavor, uh, the nose profile is very dense. Like, there's a lot in there that I can't even describe or pick out. It just smells like there's going to be some heft to this. And uh, keep in mind, I am I'm hoping that my hunting partner can come through for me. And um, there's a total wine near him in Wisconsin. And he's going to come out 
bird hunting here, and I'm hoping he can go pick this up. So they're on the Total Wine website listed $68.99, which is ridiculous compared to 103. They have the 2021 and I think the 2020 version. So I'm hoping that he is going to make his way out and grab that bottle along with a couple other bottles off my hit list and bring them back for me when he comes out here in a couple of weeks. We'll see how that works out. Man, the nose is just oscillating between graham cracker and jam and fruit. It's really, really nice. Okay, getting over the nose here. We're going in for a sip. Well, So this is coming off the heels of three Rendezvous Rise. The first part of that sip went a little watery thin, and I think that is an impact coming off of the rye because the rye finished with a rye spice. But it quickly went into a, a viscous, sweet, like syrupy sweet, um, caramel, vanilla. There was an oak that I picked up in the middle. Um, like a really nice subtle oak uh, tannin then it went into a graham crack graham cracker um, like just opened the package smelled graham cracker tasted graham cracker a little bit of peanut dust hmm there was a lot going on in there and my brain kind of went blank for a minute it's now pushed into a floral sweet bourbon Kind of like that. Let me go back in for another sip. Honey, vanilla, caramel, graham cracker, oak, hard candy sweetness, a little bit of um, like a, a ripe fruit, apple, apricot, somewhere in there. Kind of a a nice fruit mixed with a red fruit jamminess, like a little bit of um, like a raspberry or a strawberry jam. That is uh, maybe a diabetics jam because it's not like super sugary sweet. It's more flavor than sugary sweet. Man, there's just, it's a dense flavor profile. It's nice and creamy for the mouthfeel. I would not say that it's super oily or clingy. But it's got this creamy, full mouthfeel for like three quarters of the palate. I just, I really dig it. And I'm kind of regretting that I'm doing this review right now off the heels of that rye whiskey. I probably should have come into this fresh and from the start. But I really, really do like this one a lot. And there's a, there's a lot going on in the glass. A lot more than I'd be able to probably talk about right now um it is a hundred proof so let's put a drop of water in it and just see what it does to uh because it does have kind of a little bit of viscosity to it that really opened up that jam oh man i mean like super super sweet fruit red fruit jam <clears throat> And graham cracker. Oh, woo. it took the vanilla and the caramel and the graham cracker and the sweet fruit times, you know, like 5x. Like just bumped it way up. Finishes with a nice oak and brown sugar. Oh, that's delicious. That is absolute deliciousness. Um, yeah, I'm really in love with this one. I got nothing bad to say about it. This is an exploratory whiskey, so if you want something that you can sit with, sip it over time, put a little water in it, and just have a half hour, 45 minute experience, go out, 
Find a George Remus repeal. Avoid release number one, batch number one, uh, the 2017 at 94 proof. I've not heard the greatest stuff about it, um, but I've heard great things about every other release. This is release number two, the 2018. I highly recommend it if you can find it. It's going to be a lot harder to find because it's older. Uh, if you can get your hands on the 2021, I've heard amazing things about that, and I'm still in the hunt for that one. So, uh, yeah, drop in the comments down below what you can find a George, or sorry, this is not, this is Remus Repeal Reserve, not George Remus. And uh, let me know what you can find it for in your area. I cannot find this whiskey in Wyoming anywhere as of right now, which is, excuse me, uh, December 6th, 2021. I cannot find this anywhere, uh, but I'm in the hunt for it. So uh, let me know what you think of it, what your uh, experience is with it, and whether or not you think it's worth the price tag that it is uh, currently listed at. I think at $103, it's worth it. But I would have loved to have been able to pick it up for $70, $80, $90. $90 but uh, that's not the world I live in. So happy to have gotten it. And um, as always, uh, you know, if you like, subscribe, share this video with anybody who you think will get some utility out of it. Check out Life and Whiskey on the uh, different um, platforms that we are on. Uh, Rumble, BitChute, Minds, YouTube. Uh, I'm really steering as much content away from YouTube as possible, given the uh, current environment that we are in. Um, but that's where I started, and so that's where I have the most followers. So if you are on YouTube, um, be sure to check us out on Rumble, BitChute, or Minds, and know that I am releasing two videos a week on those platforms and only one video a week on YouTube. So, as always... Thanks for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.